You came here to watch Tom Dwan and his most shocking moments in high stakes poker history. Imagine sitting at a table where every move can mean the difference of winning millions or walking away with nothing. From when he was just a kid all the way to now, get ready to witness some of the most incredible wins and losses that will make you absolutely sick. Let's go. All in. There's the all in. He said all in? He said all in. Look at the size of that pot. We've got 2.3 million in there. There's the call! On a night that redefined high stakes poker, the Hustle Casino Live's million dollar game witnessed a moment of televised history. It was a Tuesday night, but not just any. The stage was set for a showdown that would be remembered forever. Tom Dwan was about to add a monumental chapter to his story by winning the most amount of money we've ever seen on televised poker. Here's how it happened. Doug Polk, right here, announces that he saw Wesley's hand as the cards were being dealt. I saw Wesley's hand. Important, but more on that later. Hank raises to 7,000 with ace-8 offsuit, and Wesley on the button with ace-king, three bets to 30,000. Tom Dwan, under the gun, four bets to 100,000 with pocket queens. FYI, the stream had some issues, that's why you can't see the cards. The action is back on Wesley, who five bets to $275,000. And Doug is watching, because he knows what Wesley has, and Wesley has just five bet. Tom looks confused, trying to figure out what he has. Obviously, Wesley's at the top of his range, but he's done some crazy stuff in the past. Keep in mind, they're also playing the seven deuce game. And for those of you who don't know, if you successfully bluff with seven deuce offsuit, you get a pale from each player. So bluffing at this table has a new element. And Doug is watching because he knows what Wesley has and Wesley has just five bet to 275,000. Action back over to Dwan. And there's the call from Dwan. Going to the flop with a half a million dollar pot, it's 883 two tone. 83 two diamonds out there. Wesley does have the ace of diamonds. Juan first to act checks it to Wesley. After a long time thinking what storyline he's going to take, he finally C bets $125,000. In my opinion, it's a standard C bet here with Ace King. Wesley bets 125,000. If I was Wesley and maybe I had an overpair like Aces or Kings, then I would go a bit bigger to target a hand like Queens that Dwan has. But the C-bet sizing here seems fine. Let me know what you guys would do. There's the call from Dwan. Pot now, 812,000. We're headed to the turn, and the pot is now $812,000. It's the five of hearts, another card that does not connect with either range being repped. Turn a blank. With Tom checking again and the turn basically being a brick, Wesley has to continue barreling to rep the overpair. Checking here wouldn't make any sense. The five doesn't change much and there's no reason to slow down. At this point, if I'm Duan, personally I'm putting Wesley on a better overpair than my queens or possibly ace-king. Also, if I'm Duan, I'm thinking I have two queens in my hand so I'm blocking ace-queen combinations. With Wesley five betting me pre, he more than likely has aces, Ace King or Kings. He could even be getting out of line and five betting me here pre flop with something like Ace Eight or Eights. But here's another thing to remember Doug saw Wesley's hand and made it seem like he had an absolute monster. Wesley didn't even bet at this point, and Doug had a reaction that honestly, in my opinion, conveyed he had a premium hand. I saw Wesley's hand. I haven't looked at my hand. I, I know what you have. I, <laughs> it's a weird spot. 30. I'm just gonna. Well, if you're gonna play, then... I fold, I fold, just, I, I... There's no chance Doug reacts like this if Wesley had threes or eights, or even something like suited connectors. So there's no way Wesley actually connects on this type of board. If you saw Doug do this live, what would you think? Wesley barrels again for $350,000, and Tom gets put in a spot. Remember, Doug Polk knows what Wesley has. Tom Dwan, though, does not. And there's the call. We're going to the river and the pot has been inflated to $1.5 million. And we're still not done. Again, another brick. The six of clubs. Wesley now effectively has ace high and Tom has a two pair with his queens. Check. Dwan checks it one more time. All in. There's the all in. He said all in? He said all in. For sure? Well, I guess. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna get a war. Now watch Dwan think this one through. Listen carefully. And I guess he just flopped an eight, but it seems very hard to fold. Oh. He's got queens. There's the call! 
Hey, call. Call. Tom Dwan has just won the biggest pot in the history of televised poker. $3.1 million to Tom Dwan. This is 1.5 and change. Holy Coming in next, we're in Madrid at the Trident No Limit Hold'em cash game. These numbers are all denominated in euros for this one, so keep that in mind. To start off, we got Tony G, who straddles with 4,000 euros. And of course, since they're playing the seven deuce game, Dwan on the cutoff with the seven deuce offsuit raises the 12,000 euros. And there's me, so you're yeah. not too bad. <laughs> Action on Rui Cow, who wants in on the fun and to test his luck. He decided to gamble and three bets to 36,000 with a seven offsuit. No. Three, six. Bro, why do you have so many hands? <laughs> why are you always ruined? <laughs> If Tom can win this hand with seven deuce, yeah, now I have many fans. 10 gay bounty from everyone. I'm sure you can already tell some serious degenerate poker is about to go down. Folds all around, but Dwan can't let it go, so he calls. He really wants to slap down that seven deuce bluff. Going to the flop, it's ace five queen rainbow. Oh, one, two. Yeah, two jets. Yeah, next stop. Win, yeah. win, win. Win for it, sir. Do you like, do you like. 30k C bet from Rui Cow. Okay. And of course, since there's so much to rep here, Rui Cow goes for the C bet of 30,000 euros. Duan right now is thinking, do I commit or do I get out? Huh? I start. Yeah. How about we swap? Okay. I mean, you, you teach me. To my surprise, he raises to 126,000 and fully commits to the seven deuce game and a casual degenerate poker night. A raise to 126,000 euro of seven deuce, ready to show everyone. <laughs> Maybe not, he's thinking. If he could take I mean, this down. Maybe. But Rui Cow has not folded yet. It sucks for Dwan, because Cow commits to his bluff with eight high and goes for the call. At this point, neither of them are going anywhere. They're both effectively playing a game of chicken of who can fully commit to the bluff. Going to the turn, which is an ace of clubs. Dwan does the classic stand-up stack check and bets 160,000. Like I said, the general poker here at the Trident Cash game. <laughs> yeah, you said that already. <laughs> <laughs> and like I said before, they both have to commit. So Rui Cow calls the 160,000. Half pot bet. And Rui Cow calls of 8-7 high, thinking that Tom He's got nothing. To make things even worse, we go to the river and see a king. Tom finally gives up and checks. Rui Cow cannot check back. If I'm in his position at this point, his eight high is no good. He has to shove and go all in. This is the craziest hand. He My goes wife. all in. Two seven. Two seven, right? Yeah. Why did you check then? Because he. Snap call me if I show. Queen <laughs> 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 dead. Queen dead. <laughs> Next up, we're taking it all the way back to high stakes poker when Tom was just 22 years old. We start this hand off with Peter Eastgate raising to 3,500 with Ace King off. Got aces. Wow. Peter Eastgate's raised in late position. Barry might think he's full of it. Greenstein wakes up with aces and definitely thinks he's taking money home tonight. And I'm sure we've all been there. He raises to 15,000. Tom Dwan, the absolute underdog here, has King Queen suited and decides to call. All right, he's gonna call. Peter Eastgate might raise. In my opinion, these suited broadways play well post flop. Calling is a bit wide here, in my opinion, from Tom. I would honestly fold if I was in this position since Peter raised and Barry re raised. King Queen suited is definitely no good at this point. Peter calls, and we're going to the flop multi way. Flop shows queen four deuce, two spades. The absolute best flop for Dwine. Top pair with a flush draw. Ow. <laughs> what is it that uh, Francis Scott Key said when he was in the uh, Baltimore Harbor? Bombs bursting in air. A rocket's red glare. That's what <laughs> we're going to see here in this hand. Dwan first to act leads out with almost $29,000. Dwan starts out with a $28,700 bet. Peter misses the flop. He has the ace of spades, but he knows he's behind in this multi-way pot and he folds the ace king. Barry absolutely loving his aces, 
raises to 100,000. At this point, if I'm Duan, I have top pair and two spades. I'm blocking combinations like ace-king, ace-queen, kings and queens. Very more than likely has aces. Doubt he's raising here with these sizings pre and post flop with a hand like jacks. And it's super unlikely that he has those combinations that I was talking about before. Barry is at the top of his range. And like I said, he more than likely has aces. Duan knows he's behind on this flop, but with two more cards to be played, he can catch up and take it down. If he calls, he's only hurting his chances of potentially stacking Barry since if the turn is a spade, it kills all the action. Duan has to make a move. Here he comes. Wow, he's gonna raise to 244,600. Barry says okay. He's gonna put Duan all oh, in. Oh man. <laughs> Barry's hoping that Juan has the kind of hand he has and not a set of deuces or a set of fours. Yeah, I'm all in, in case, in case we're not. You got anything? A little bit of something. Are we flipping them? He won't let you guys got anything. Oh, that's the best hand. That's what right. I figured you had. I guess I could have taken the card off. Pretty easy. Sorry. Okay. 22 year old Tom Juan says, no deal. Once. Let's play cards. Another queen. Oh, wow. Barry's dead to the case ace. Tom Juan wouldn't take 200,000 back. Unbelievable. You don't want to do what I want to do, run it twice. I'm not going to do what you want to do. No case ace. Okay. Tom Juan mm -hmm. has just won the biggest hand in the history of televised poker. Over $900,000 in a hand with no deal. If you guys like what you saw, tap the screen to watch Phil Ivey's best bluffs and subscribe. Thanks for watching.